Well, now the removal company accused of holding customers' belongings to ransom. Angry families have also received legal threats from law firms linked to the removalist boss. Tonight, we expose the company's cruel tactics. They're holding our staff for ransom. It's the moving company that's left angry families with absolutely nothing. Taking your kids' pictures, taking their toys, taking your jewellery, taking everything that you have, your kitchenware, your TV, and then threatening you and holding you at ransom. Marie King's a mum of two boys under four. She's sleeping on this mattress on the floor. We had a bag of clothes each, me and the kids. Um, I managed to shower the kids with a bath, a beach towel I had in the car, and we didn't even have cups or plates or anything to drink out of that night. More than a month ago, Marie was moving to Newcastle when she hired Apex Logistics Solutions. So I paid the entire invoice and waited for the guy to turn up. Um, this is now hours and hours and hours after the delivery was supposed to happen. Instead, Marie says she received these fiery legal letters. Claiming that I've been rude and aggressive and they're unable to deliver my goods. Um, they then held me at ransom for about three hours while I could see the truck parked down the street. Um, it was just outrageous what they, want, what they wanted me to agree to. So I said I wouldn't agree to these letters and I wouldn't agree to their statements of my aggressive behaviour. And after about three hours, the truck drove off. Marie hasn't seen her belongings since. I don't know how, how these people... Um, sorry. Sorry. Almost everything Vicky Pumphrey owns is gone too. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how these people can... Um, just keep doing this and I actually don't understand why. Vicky's sleeping on a blow-up mattress and passes her days in a camping chair. We have our, you know, our dog's ashes in there. I have medication in there. Um, I have a lot of personal information and, and documents in there. We've only got the clothes that we actually arrived with. Vicky's now being sued for defamation for merely writing on Facebook, my furniture has been missing. I couldn't make this story up if I tried um, and I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. We've been investigating this company for months, uncovering a messy web. That legal firm sending threats, RM Legal Consultants, is owned by the same man who owns the moving company, Shivesh Cooksall. Lawyer Adam refuses to reveal his last name or even his solicitor's code. A Supreme Court judge once held that Shivesh lied when giving evidence while shutting down three of his unrelated companies, which were insolvent. So what does Apex have to say for itself. It's Sam Cucciara here from A Current Affair. We're quickly ushered out of their Melbourne office. Instead of returning people's items, you send them these legal letters. Is this, is this even a real firm? Could you please just... Does go RM go Legal go exist? Go Let's rewind the tape. Could this be Kingpin Shavesh ducking for cover in an office as we approach? Shortly after leaving, we too were sent a legal letter, this time from another firm called Law Innovation. We did some digging and surprise, surprise, guess who it's owned by? Removalist boss, Shavesh Cooksall. We have nothing. We have just a suitcase and everything else is gone. Just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, meet Rosie, whose $5,000 quote turned into a $15,000 bill. If you don't pay up, you don't get your stuff. <laughs> Since our intervention, Vicky's retrieved all her belongings herself, while Rosie's managed to locate most of her stuff too, thanks to the help of Apex driver Con. Well, my clients got their stuff back. I gave them the location of their storages. I Rosie, she knows where to get everything. And no one can do anything because it's a it's a legal matter, it's a civil matter, you know, that's all that bullshit going on because no one wants to be responsible. But if I'll drive too fast with my car, I go into jail. Well can you tell me where their items Sorry, are? I'm not I'm very busy at the moment. Entire 
Well, if you're very busy, I hope that's trying to find these items that you've taken. It's literally a situation where they're going to keep doing it and it's going to affect other families and other people and more people are going to be left high and dry without their belongings. Victoria's Legal Services Board has just confirmed none of the law firms mentioned in our report are registered to practice and the board is concerned about legal proceedings that customers are being threatened with. Its full statement is on our homepage while Apex has not responded to a request for comment.